Okay, we're back again. We forgot to mention that we do have, this is the uh, MOSFET driver on here. This is the second uh, revision. The first one was used uh, complementary pair of MOSFETs to drive the MOSFETs. This time we replaced them with transistors. The new design is uh, on the web. It's uh, public domain. It seems to work very well. Uh, it's the industry standard is used transistors. The bipolar transistors, these are actually Radio Shack stuff, so you can get a Radio Shack. What that does is it basically gives us more uh, energy to turn on and off the MOSFET the gate circuit. Uh, the higher the amperage, basically you've got more of a load to overcome that uh, capacitance, the uh, Miller capacitance, I guess is what you call it. So, Last time I burned this thing out, I had it. I was running at 150 uh, amps at about 10,000 cycles per second. Uh, this time we're only going to go up to 100 amps, and we're limited to about what our normal frequency I expect to run with the uh, Fred Myers type of or uh, Fred Wells type of circuit, which is about 15 cycles per second. So apparently, the higher frequency you go, the higher harder it is on the uh, MOSFET. So we're I'm going to try to keep this unit from burning out before we get the car running this year. And we can always make another unit to do more tests and you know, see what the limits are in frequency and power next year. But we're trying to keep this thing from burning out. So we're not going to max it out. I'm not pushing the envelope on this one anymore. We've got to uh, use it for other purposes. So there you have it.